Well, hello everybody. I hope you guys are well today. Yes, I have my stocking cap on. It is freezing here, uh, probably in the 30s, so I am freezing solid. Anyways, I wanted to come on really quick and just share some thoughts with you guys and just let you know that I am thinking of you and I love you guys so much and I thank you so much for all of your encouragement and I just want to say you know sometimes um, we come on here and we pour our heart out we tell what the Lord has laid on our hearts we share the gospel with you guys as much as we possibly can we share what the Lord is leading us to say but that does not mean that we are immune to uh, living in the flesh. It does not mean that sometimes we do things that we wish we wouldn't have or say things that we wish we wouldn't have or treated people different ways that we shouldn't have treated. And I am no exception of that. And so, you know, there are times that um, I react to things or people who say certain things to me I react in the flesh without fully thinking about it first and then God deals with me later and I feel the weight of um, guilt and the weight of um, conviction in my heart for how I treated somebody or what I have said to somebody or what I could have said differently or how I could have come about it in a different way and so I want to present that to you guys and if I have ever said anything to you guys in a rude way or if I have ever commented to you um, in a manner that is not pleasing to the Lord I apologize to you for that and you know I try to always be uplifting and always be encouraging and always tell you guys that I love you and I try to always um, share my heart with you and share the love of Jesus Christ with you but there are times that um, uh, people come against me or the attacks against me and it gets to be a bit much and um, unfortunately that is when my flesh takes over and I say things that I shouldn't say or I do things I shouldn't do or I treat people poorly which is never my intention I never want to treat anybody um, bad or um, make them feel awful for anything so um, just know that that is my heart coming through to you and the good thing about that is that the Lord ha uh, provides grace and We don't just end there, right? We just pick up our pieces and pick up our broken Bodies and our broken self and we move on and we continue on down the path. We apologize to the Lord We ask the Lord to show us um, the error of our ways and to help us to um, show others his love and um, dust ourselves off and we keep going on and you know I'm still learning even at the age of 40 I am still learning every single day I'm learning um, different Bible uh, what the Bible says I'm learning things that I have read over and over and over again and suddenly it clicks um, so the Lord is dealing with me every single day and I'm learning every day just because of my age does not mean that I you stop learning um, as you get older so um, just know that I um, love each and every one of you and if I have said anything that has hurt some of you or hurt your feelings or made you feel bad um, or treated you in any certain way differently I apologize from the bottom of my heart that is not my intention whatsoever and um, so there are uh, certain people out there that are um, coming against me for believing in a once saved always saved and you know we're not all gonna agree we are one great big beautiful planet and there's a lot of different um, attitudes and personalities and um, that's okay if you want to come against me for that whatever have you that is between you and God and that is not between me and you so um, I am more than willing and more than happy to discuss the Bible with you I'm more than willing to discuss with you um, why I believe what I believe if you choose not to um, believe what I believe then that's between you and God and that's um, something that you have to live with um, that has nothing to do with me from that point on once I share with you what I believe and why I believe in it then um, that uh, it's between you and God from that point so 
there's nothing I can do. I can't pressure you into believing the way I do. I can't um, force you into it. I can't do any of that. So, um, you know, if you're willing to listen, that's great. I would be more than happy to discuss with you. I'd be more than happy to um, email with you, whatever it is. Um, but just know that everybody is different. Everybody has different emotions and different feelings and different thoughts and um, we are all made differently. So that's what makes us wonderful, right? And so um, as a believer in Jesus Christ, our mission, our mission field is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with everybody and to bring as many souls to Christ as we can and to plant as many seeds as we possibly can. So um, it is not my duty or my goal or my mission to um, win arguments with people. Um, it's not my job and my mission to, um, you know, be mean to people even though that happens sometimes. Um, like I've said before, um, you know, this world, this YouTube channel, whatever it is, this is my mission field and God has called me not to the jungles, um, not to the remote desert island somewhere. This is my mission field and this is where God has called me to be. And God has called me to be an encourager to you and to bring you um, encouraging words from the Lord and not necessarily I, I do not claim to be a teacher I do not want to uh, take that responsibility of being a Bible scholar Bible teacher whatever my job as God has told me and encouraged me to, to uh, encourage you and bring you the Word of God and share the gospel with you so that I can plant seeds so that you can find yourself in heaven one day so with that I love you guys so much and again I apologize if I have ever said anything that has hurt your feelings that is not my intention at all so with that I love you guys so much and I wish you the best day ever and may God richly bless you